Hey you skellywags, clad in all gold, I had concerns that this release would come off looking quite tacky. After getting hands on, those concerns soon left my thoughts, and I found out of his two brothers released by Joy Toy, the Primarch of the Seventh Legion puts the action in the action figure. The first figure from Joy Toy for their new Warhammer Horus Heresy line, this is the Primarch of the Imperial Fists. Praetorian of Terror, Rogel Dawn. Shut up and sit down. And that, brother, is the story of how the Imperium came to shit. Well, you know how the old saying goes. The dawn is always darkest before the... No, that's not right. The, uh... The night is always darkest before the dawn. Yeah, that's right, that's me. Dawn. Dawn? Dawn! You son of a bitch! What's the matter? The Emperor got you pushing too many quills? <laughs> I miss your banter, Rabuti. Such quick wit. You're the best, girly man. Oi! El Leon! Pardon et moi! Uh, excuse you, quoi? Rogel! You know I'm not Hispanic. Long time, brother. Where art thou been? Well, Mufasa, that is a very long and interesting story. So let's take a closer look at Rogel Dawn. So out of the box, the eagle was loose. I was going to glue it back on, but I've uh, found some uses with having it loose. Just simply pops back in anyway. No issues. I'm not the biggest fan of the Hawkeye Mohawk. The whole family's been snapped and yet they have such stylish hair. Head sculpt's good though. Body here, lovely. Gold, I've really gotten used to. You shine the right light on it, it really looks good. Not as tacky as I thought it'd be. Lovely blue, they've used like vent thing. Seven there. The other side, two. Nice detail all round. Really like how the light reflects off all the details. Fist. Back here, underneath here, is even more detail. Cape is glued on to the back there. And there is a hook. Here. The gun. I'll show how that works in a bit. Side skirting gets out of the way, no problem. Simples. Soft. Hot shot. Legs here look brilliant. Nice red studs. Side here. Some vent things in the back. Soles to almost match the lion. Awesome stuff. Posing is really where he shines. More fun than his brothers. New head articulation. Remove that. His uh, backpack does pop off. Just like with um, a lion. Might get some kiki on that. There's a lot less hindering articulation. Let's try a punchy pose. 
utilize the butterfly. Definitely a lot smoother to move around. There, yeah, more like that. Looks pretty good. Really needs a soft goods cape. Oh, can even do. I'm gonna punch you before the punchy pose. Move those pauldrons. So nice. Get them right up there. There. Look at that. Lovely light, the way the light reflects off it. One major thing to note when posing, be careful of that lower part. I unknowingly damaged it by rigorous playing. Let's have a look at the heads from the neck on a barbell. The head and neck are in two pieces. There you go, the head there on a double barbell too. Which allows better range. Look at that. Not, we've not seen this before. Pop it on there. Just adds that extra bit of range and nuance. Does go all the way around so you can see the rest of the mohawk. Removing the eagle makes it easier to do certain poses with the head going all the way up. The back arm can go up. Try and superman it. The leg. Look, he's charging at you for the Emperor. He pulls it off. Move this. The arm on a barbell joint here will offer a little bit more range. Ball joint hinge on the shoulder we've seen before, of course. Move that. Maybe a bit stiff, so be careful. I'm going to go all the way up. Same on this side. Just twist the arm to get the elbow joint out of the way. If you push all the way, you can reach your full cupper. You've got that butterfly joint. Same as the Marines. The shoulder pad on, it looks good there. Very sturdy twist at the bicep. Splendid double elbow. Look at that. So good. And the double barbell at the wrist. Oh, that's a first. <laughs> looks like the joint has come loose. Not enough um, glue in there. Oh well, that can still move around. Good range. And below here, again, careful with the bottom bit. Down here. Don't want to ruin the sculpting. Jean-Claude, not so great, but... <coughs> there, look at that, Jean-Claude. Utilizing those drop down hips. Twist that thigh. Leg goes up. Back. <coughs> Go up even further with the drop down. Look at that. Back there. Double bend at the knee. Go lower. Or higher there with the sort of single. But that's your range. Down is very good. Hee <laughs> hee. Dorsi flexation is really good for the moonwalker. And all the rest you get to with a toe. Let's get him ready to kneel for the emperor. Get that leg back. And arm on there. <clears throat> You said you had a story to tell and just went silent. Dramatic pose, brother. We've been stood here in silence for several hours. 
We thought you dead. The only thing we could find after you went missing was this puny hand. Hands can be changed very easily. These are his two imperial fists. It's two grabby hands, not the Donald Trump kind, but holding. He has these two sort of relaxed, expressive hands. And these two trigger finger hands. Also comes with two frags. Nowhere to store them. But you can put them on the relaxed, expressive hands. This is his Balta, the voice of terror. You can remove the magazine. No detail there, but clips in nicely. Your barrel. You can pop this on here. I originally had it this way. There you go. But checked images. And it's actually this way. There you go. So we'll reach around with his left hand. Speaking of left hand. This is left trigger finger. And it'll just go in there. Nice and securely. Pops in very easily. His chainsword storm teeth. Very lovely looking and original. Fist. Nice detail everywhere. You can use this grabbing hand. Which would be very easy to put in like that. And works well. In there. There you go. But this trigger finger hand. Works even better for it. You can see there is actually a bit to put the trigger finger in. There. Secure it in. And nice and snug. Like a bug in a rug. When Storm Teeth gets hungry, Dawn feeds it to heretics. Let's pose them up. there it's a revving his chain sword about to slice and dice I'm in a shooty pose I have to say so much easier to pose There he is, Pew Pew, the Xenos heretics. So you can't actually get him to cross his hands. You can get pretty close. Just adjust things to give the illusion. Yeah, so I don't think that looks too bad. You can use the uh, relaxed hands for more relaxed look. So, let's now move on to some comparisons. With Dawn's head being a bit bigger than Rebute's, I think he actually works quite well with Marvel 6-inch Spiral and McFarlane's 7-inch The Batman with Custom Head. Sticking with McFarlane, I think Dawn would actually fit nicely into that intercessor armor. And he towers over the mythic legions, Belphegor. This means that he makes your standard 4-inch 118 scale figure look tiny when stood against them. Cadian and Battle Sister right here. Rogel Dawn looks awesome with his two Primarch brothers, uh, Lion L. Johnson on the left and Rebute Gilliman on the right. He is just a bit taller, um, and this is with all figures not utilizing the drop-down hips. And here is the unyielding one reunited with the sons of the Imperial Fists, 
and meeting the Black Templars. Obviously towering over all of these little fellas. As the first Primarch and first figure from the Horus Heresy, I felt inclined to buy Rogal Dawn, check him out. But I wasn't really looking forward to him that much. I thought although he's got a lot of detail in his armour, he looked a bit plain in all that gold. And I thought it may come off as looking a bit tacky. But with his design being a lot simpler than Gilliman or the Lion, it means that a lot of his articulation is accessible. So he's a lot of fun to pose about and play around. And that neck, uh, extra bit of neck articulation really makes a difference too. The lighting, as long as you get the right lighting on the gold, it looks amazing in hand and in pictures. Now he's a bit pricier than your average Space Marine, obviously. But I managed to get a good price for him. And in fact, he is about the same price as the miniature. Actually, there's one last comparison I wanted to do with the Custodes and check the golds here. So this gold I quite like on the uh, new Custodes. And Rogal Dawn, I think, just looks maybe a bit more flamboyant with his gold. So yeah, I'll leave you to, to judge. What do you guys think anyway in the comments? Let me know down below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up. For more content, subscribe. Oh, don't forget to check my links for affiliates and uh, all that stuff. And I'll scale you later. Is daddy okay now?